Approximately 500 million years ago, during Precambrian times, the rocks of the Canadian Shield were formed. The convergence of two tectonic plates caused the surface rock to be forced down into the interior of the Earth, melt, rise back to the surface, and slowly cool, producing igneous and metamorphic rocks. During the last ice age, when glaciers covered the area, the advance and retreat of the ice flow forced the shield to extend southward to the northern reaches of the United States, carving thousands of lakes in its wake. In more recent times, through the process of algal photosynthesis, thin layers of calcium carbonate have been precipitated beneath the water's surface. These limestone concretions have formed layers of sedimentary veneers over the existing rock as well as the lake bed. The combination of this rock and gravel bottom, large boulders, cool, clear water, and the presence of a sustainable forage base today offers nothing less than an ideal habitat for smallmouth bass. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Wisconsin. 